a, a somber day for the country. Former President Trump has been indicted, uh, connected to efforts to interfere with the democratic process and overturn the results of the 2020 election. Wow, and here we go again. Before we dive into this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you guys could please share so we can get the channel out there. Before we get into this third indictment that was just handed down. Let's go over the first two really briefly, really quick. The first indictment, this is in New York. This is with the Stormy Daniels case with Alvin Bragg. This case has no legitimacy whatsoever. At the end of the day, the checks were made out to Michael Cohen, his lawyer. The person that's already been a proven perjurer, had to spend time in jail, got let off because of what was going down with COVID and all that. So he didn't even finish out his whole sentence. That's going to get completely tossed out. There's no merit. There is no campaign finance violation. There's none of that stuff. The checks were made out as legal fee expenses to Michael Cohen. So at the end of the day, what are you going to put him on the stand, a convicted perjurer? So that's going to go nowhere. That's null and void, just like the Russia, Russia, all that other stuff. Now, the second indictment, the Amara Lago, the uh, documents case, at the end of the day, he is the president of the United States, the executive position, no hired, not Congress, not the Senate, none of that. The buck stops with him. A person that has to worry about this more than Trump would be somebody like Joe Biden that kept classified documents as a senator. Trump, in the other hand, is the president of the United States at the time of all of this going down, which means NARA, this is the archives, these are the ones that handle all the documents, they were negotiating with Trump. Trump. The best thing they can do is to ask him to have the documentation back. That's it. They don't hold no, no authority over the president of the United States. What they have to worry about is the unconstitutional raid that was done by the FBI on Mar-a-Lago. They, but you, they did ask you to turn off your security cameras. That's right. But you didn't do it. That's right. Well, so with that, that's going to go nowhere. He can have the documents, period. Plus, he's protected by the Presidential Records Act. So now let's get to this third indictment that was just handed down. And let's hear from the prosecutor, the special counsel himself, the amazing Jack Smith. Listen to this. Good evening. Today, an indictment was unsealed charging Donald J. Trump with conspiring to defraud the United States, conspiring to disenfranchise voters, and conspiring and attempting to obstruct an official proceeding. Isn't he such a nice guy? Conspiracy to defraud the United States, really? So what this basically means is that they have to prove intent in Trump's mind that he knew whatever he was talking about wasn't true and he did it anyways. How do you think that's going to work out in a court of law? That is completely null and void there. Plus, he's protected by the First Amendment. Whether you like it or not, it protects all speech. Whether you like this speech or you don't, it covers all speech period so that's what's going to happen with that you cannot prove what's in somebody's mind regardless and he hasn't changed his tune so what so how's that going to work it's not like you have evidence of him saying okay well i know this is bs but i'm going to kill i'm going to still keep on pushing it they do not have that so that's null and void let's go to the second one conspiring to disenfranchise voters so now this next one, disenfranchising voters. So how are you going to prove that? Now you're trying to state that he didn't want legal votes to be counted. Is that what they're doing? When he's on tape talking about he wants it to be a very clean, legitimate election. He only wants anything that could be fraudulent to be tossed out. So that's null and void. These are all gimmicks. This is all a game. And there's actually four of them, but basically the fourth and the third one basically coincide. And then here Here's the next one. And conspiring and attempting to obstruct an official proceeding. And that's the big one, conspiring to stop an official proceeding. How is that going to work? Whether people like it or not, you can listen to the speech in fast forward or in slow motion. He clearly states, I want you to go over to the Capitol and peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. No matter what they want to believe, if he said something else in that speech, go tear stuff up, you have a point. That is not what took place.
And then if that's the whole avenue that the government wants to go, what are you going to do with the police and the guards, the Capitol Police that openly that just let people in? Were they trying to slow down the process? So why don't you bring them up on charges as well? Or what about Kevin McCarthy when he gave like some crazy long speech, like four, eight hours, something like that, long speech to hold up the vote on the Build Back Better agenda? So isn't that trying to slow down or delay a public proceeding, right? A house vote. So are you going to do the same thing with that? You see how this is? It's all muddy. It's all nonsense, but it's done on purpose. This man is 70 plus years old. You think that he's going to serve the rest of his life in jail? This is the same thing that was going on with the taxes in Russia. It's just in real time. This is all it is. And they could have brought these charges a long time ago, which his lawyer openly states. Look at this. I need to look at what so-called evidence is going to be presented. I could see this trial lasting nine months or a year, but it's going to take, Mr. Trump is entitled to a defense. The government has had three years to investigate this, and now they want to rush this to trial in the middle of a political season. What does that tell you? We deserve as much time as any American citizen to defend on these issues as anyone else. And for the government to have three years to do it and then expect us to do it in three weeks or four weeks is just ridiculous. So that's his lawyer with all this talking about they had three years to do this, right? This is 2021, right? We're about to be in 2024 before you know it. They had all this time. Why are they doing it now? It took them that long, that many resources? No, he's telling you right there. It tells you exactly what you need to know and you know exactly why they're bringing it forward. All of this stuff will be null and void. I already ran through the first two indictments and then this third one. The majority of the third one, actually the, pr pretty much 100% of it, is covered under the First Amendment. He has the right to say, listen, I have an objection to this. I want this looked into. Hey, I can say this and this. You are in the United States of America. You're not in some other country. And that's what they don't like. This is covered under the First Amendment. And that will protect him throughout all of this. This is the country you live in and they just cannot stand that pesky constitution can they in this last clip i'm going to play you guys is off the amazing msnbc this just puts a bow on everything and it just really puts it into perspective in like five seconds listen to this but if you look at the cover page, it is just United States versus Donald J. Trump. And that tells you right there, the United States against Donald Trump versus Trump. That's what all this is about, the United States government versus Trump. Trump. All they talk about all this stuff. We want to look into this. We want to make the world a better place and all. Are they doing any of that? No. And this has to get the blessing of Joe Biden. This isn't the crazy DA in New York or somebody down in Fulton County, which you should be seeing another indictment with that soon. They're going to do the same thing and try to fall in line with these other ones. And mind you, if the other indictment in New York was so great and so amazing, why did he say, I'm going to take a back seat and now I'm going to let the mar a one go in front of me. That tells you everything you need to know. I left that little bit out. But at the end of the day, none of this stuff will amount to anything. All this is is just to muddy up the works. They know that, the media knows that, and the American people know that. That's why the polls just keep going up and up and up every single time this happens, because people see it for what it really is. Bullshit. But I just thought that was a really crazy moment in that time, the United States versus Donald Trump. And that's exactly what you're saying. Tell me your guys' thoughts about all this. Do you really think anything's going to come of this or it's all going to get just completely brushed aside just like the Russia, Russia, the phone calls, the Putin puppets, the taxes, all this other stuff that they told you on repeat. Mind you, we're going on seven years now of this. We're going to get them, all this other stuff. Seven years of this this at the end of the day do you think there's really now we finally got them now we got them right where we want them do you guys think that's really what's going to happen thank you guys for tuning in do not forget to like subscribe and if you guys could please share so we can get the word out there and i will catch you guys on the next one